Do you want to be an astronaut? Let me teach you how. Hey, curious kids. Kevin here. Today on A Place Called Space, we're talking about how to become an astronaut. Now, astronaut actually comes from the Greek words that mean space sailor. Yep, so I'm going to teach you how to become a space sailor. <laughs> now, there are five types of NASA astronauts. First, we have the most popular, active astronauts. These individuals are the ones who are flight eligible to go to space. They're literally the people in space right now. The second is management astronauts. These are astronauts that are still employed by or they work for NASA, but are no longer flight eligible, meaning they can't go to space anymore. Next is astronaut candidate, or ASCANs as they're called for short. These people have been selected by NASA to start training to become those active astronauts. We're going to focus on how to apply to be an ASCAN in just a little bit. We got a few more to cover. There are also former astronauts, for those who have left NASA or are deceased. And lastly, international astronauts. These are the astronauts from other space agencies that have trained or served with NASA astronauts. The first astronauts were selected in 1959, and they were actually military fighter pilots. And they all had to be under 5 foot 11 to fit inside the Mercury capsule. It wasn't until 1964 that NASA opened up the astronaut corps to scientists. So to be a scientific astronaut, there was just one requirement. You have to have a doctorate degree in medicine, engineering, physics, chemistry, geology, or biology. Now today's requirements, right? Like it's probably the reason you're here watching this video. There are four requirements to apply to be a NASA astronaut. Number one, you have to be a U.S. citizen. Yes, because NASA is a United States government organization. If you're not a U.S. citizen, you can try and become one. But what I really like to tell people is that I would rather see you try to become an astronaut in your home country. And if there's not a space program in your home country, try and start one. Seriously. The more of them, the better. It's got to start somewhere, and it could be you. Okay, number two. You need to have a master's degree in STEM. That is science, technology, engineering, and math. Or two years work towards a doctorate degree in a STEM field, a doctor of medicine, or osteopathic medicine degree. Or completion of a test pilot school program. All of that also satisfies the master's requirement. Number three. You'll need at least two years of experience in the STEM field, or more than 1,000 hours of pilot-in-command time on a jet aircraft. Lastly, number four, you have to be able to pass the NASA Long Duration Flight Astronaut Physical. NASA also says that you need interpersonal skills too, like leadership, teamwork, followership, because you can't always be the one giving orders, and communication skills. Are you keeping up? <laughs> this is a lot. But we're not done yet. Yes, we have finished the requirements, what you have to have to apply. But NASA has said, and it's also been seen, that these things help you out in the selection process. Being scuba certified, having a pilot's license, knowing how to use a ham radio, being multilingual or knowing Russian, and experience in the extremes like Antarctica or wilderness survival. So that's what you need, and those are some things that are nice to have to help you get selected to be a NASA astronaut candidate. Now, how does it work? How do you apply to be a NASA astronaut? Well, when NASA has openings, the first thing you do is submit an online application that is writing essays and answering a bunch of multiple choice questions. From that, NASA will select about 120 people to do interviews and start some basic medical screenings. Next, NASA invites about 40 to 60 people back for a second interview, which is actually a week long. And they also do teamwork training during this time. After that, NASA will make its final selection of about 5 to 20 people to be their astronaut candidates, or ASCANs, which will go through two years of training training for spacewalks, ISS operations, flying in T-38 jets, 
and operating robotic arms. <laughs> wow, that sounds fun. And you know what? I want to be an astronaut. <laughs> of course. So let's see if I qualify. U.S. citizen? Check. Master's in STEM? I have a master's in aerospace engineering. Check. Two years experience? I worked at NASA for a few years. So check. Ability to pass a physical? This is Kevin De Bruyne. He's an aerospace engineer at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in nearby Pasadena. Uh, I think so. Check. And I'm scuba certified and have done wilderness survival as an Eagle Scout. So yes, I applied last year in March 2020 to be an astronaut, and I'm still waiting to hear back. They said the first interviews should be notified in the spring of 2021. So we'll see. Stay tuned. Now on to trivia. The answer to last week's question of what is it called when Earth and Mars are on the same side of the sun is B, opposition. Now, this week's question is, how many countries have had astronauts? Is it A, 3, B, 10, C, 19, or D, 35? Tune in next week to get your answer. Always be curious.